Good evening, this is your boy DJ Tan right here on Tan of Twos. Don't forget to like and subscribe on iTunes, YouTube, Spreaker, Ning, and every other place. And oh, don't forget 2019, there's going to be some big things happening because you're going to look out for TanaTudes.com. Tonight we're going to talk about life's purpose. I'm going to give you guys a scenario here, you know. He was a very successful and happy person. He had lots of friends. His wife loved him, his business was growing, and his wealth was increasing. Everyone envied him for all that he had. But one morning, they heard the shocking news. He committed suicide. I'm sure that you have heard of at least one person who committed suicide in spite of having everything he wanted in life. What do you think could have made someone like that commit suicide? Well, the answer is simple. This person had big goals to achieve, but had no real purpose in life. Now, the difference between a life purpose and goals is this. It goal is that goals can exist without a purpose, while a purpose cannot exist without goals. For example, you could have a goal of like reading a comic book, but this book would serve no big purpose, nor will it impact your life negatively if you didn't read it. You could have lots of goals in your life that serve no real purpose, and this might make you feel that your life is pointless, but on the other hand, having a purpose in life would encourage you to set many goals in order to fulfill that purpose, that higher purpose. So the man in my example didn't kill himself because he failed to achieve his goals, but he did it because the goals he achieved served no real purpose. That man felt that his life was pointless, and this is why he decided to end it. Note that I'm not saying that the lack of, of, of a life purpose is the main reason for suicide. After all, I can't say that that is the explanation as to why anybody would kill themselves or, co or commit suicide, or why some people who seem to have it all get depressed and, e and eventually leave this world. But there is no doubt that one of the reasons that could lead to such a depressive state is the lack of life purpose. Now, how to find out my purpose in life, how to find your purpose in life. Imagine that you have a time machine and that you have traveled to the future where you had one year left to live, assuming that you know when you're going to die. What will your thoughts be like at that age? What will you regret the most? What is the thing that you will wish you could have done before reaching that, that old age? Think about that. I'll wait. Now, go back to the time machine and travel further into the future to one day before your death. Now try to close your eyes and imagine it now. You're dying tomorrow. You're leaving here tomorrow. I'll wait. Whip the bang bang shicky mickey feet. Okay. Now what is the one thing you wish you could have done? Yeah, I know it gets deep sometimes, don't I? I know, I know, I know, I'll wait. What's the thing that makes you wish to live a little longer 
so that you do it? What's that one thing that makes you wish to live a little longer so that you have time to do that one thing? See, when you find these answers, you need to write them down and come back to to the present. So you're going to get back in that time machine and you're going to come back. Congratulations. You have just discovered your life's purpose. You have discovered it. So now you wrote it down. You've discovered your purpose because now you've discovered what you really want to do with your life. Now, I know this may seem you know, like you really like yeah, this fool and lost his damn mind. People are not going to find their life purpose in a few minutes. I, I already know that, but I'm giving you a scenario that's going to say it's going to make you think. What do I want to do with my life? Do I really want to flip burgers my entire life? I'm not saying that it's not a good thing. Some people are very happy with that job, and I commend I commend you for that. But I want you to take your time thinking about this matter over and over because this is the purpose that you're going to fight for to end up to the end of your life. You see, you can even give yourself a few weeks or even months and after that, you know, find your purpose. You see, one of the facts few people know is that your life purpose might already be in your in your genes. You see, why your life should be purpose driven I, I I said that the unmet needs we humans develop as we grow determine our unconscious goals in other words the unmet needs that we develop as we go through different experience force us to develop certain unconscious goals these goals are usually very powerful to the extent that we can be considered your life purpose they can be considered that that's your life purpose right so by getting a proper level of self understanding and self understanding and and your subconscious goals in a better way you will easily be able to find out your life's purpose with that said your emotions can guide you to your life's purpose see when I talk about emotions you have to determine what moves you. Each emotional change that you experience in your life happens because you are either moving closer to or further away from your important goals. This means that you can use your emotional emotions for guidance in order to discover your life's purpose. When you do something that makes you feel bad or horrible, know that you are moving further away from your life purpose. When you're doing something that you ain't got no business doing, you are moving further away from your life's purpose. Lack of courage in discovering your life purpose. In many cases, people might have a life purpose but might be very afraid to discover it. The fear of taking responsibility is one example of an obstacle that could prevent a person from trying to discover their life purpose. The important question you need to ask yourself is, do I have enough courage to discover my life purpose and pursue it? If your answer wasn't yes, then you need to work on your courage because, for, because you can search for your life purpose. You need to be ready to fight for your life purpose. You have to be ready to do it. And with that said, you need to take a moment to think about what your goals are. Your happiness. What you need out of life. What makes you move. What makes you happy. And that way you will know what your life purpose is. Life is too short, people, to sit around and not know what your purpose in life is. We are all put here for a reason. You need to take the time. Don't wait until you're 75 years old to find your purpose. We are all here for a reason. Find what that reason is. It may be the simplest thing that God put you. I fi At 53 years old, I finally figured out what my purpose is. Well, actually, I take that back. I knew what my I knew my purpose, but it took me until now to move towards that purpose and stop letting other people stop me in my tracks 
And finally, I can say now, I'm on the track to my purpose. And whoever does not like it, you can sit down over there in the seat behind the, 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 the stadium. But anyway, I got to get going because I got other purposes tonight. This is your boy, DJ Tan. We'll see you when we see you. Wow. Peace.